Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2007 Fleetwood Discovery 40X Triple Slide Class A Diesel Pusher Motorhome. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. The exterior length of the coach as far as what the brochure tells me is 40 feet and the exterior height to the dual high efficiency AC units is 12 foot 10 inches. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. This is a second owner coach. The only reason why the current owners are selling this coach is because of health reasons. All right, this is a triple slide coach. We'll start off uh, the living room slide out here. It's gonna be a super slide, definitely gonna be a good 14 foot long and two and a half, maybe three foot deep. Accommodates the table and chairs and the rocker recliner. And there is also a desk, which I believe the owners told me that they had custom made. Gonna show that off. Uh, little desk here, little pull out desk. You get the idea, it pulls right out. Pretty neat. Definitely a good custom job. And uh, the wood's probably going to be, I would say, a dark oak. All solid wood drawer fronts and styles. Uh, you're all, all your cabinets on this coach are going to be some of the best. And let's point out that rocker recliner. I'm not sure if this was standard or the owners actually put this in. I believe the owners actually upgraded this rocker recliner and it's ultra leather. And the table and chairs show off the fabrics. Storage up underneath. Tans are going to be the majority of the colors inside. And I've got a little bit of good lighting here. Show off the window treatments there. Window treatments, the colors are going to be kind of a, a green, blue color with some, looks like silver. Beautiful window treatments. Uh, you do have day night shades all throughout the coach. I'll finish up doing the cockpit at the end of the video. Okay. Second slide out is going to accommodate the kitchen and the uh, hide a bed sleeper and uh, the kitchen big upgrade on this is going to be the Samsung refrigerator residential style refrigerator with ice maker show that off there for you definitely a nice upgrade and this coach does have a 2000 watt inverter to power your refrigerator while you're driving down the road there's your ice maker down here nice big freezer And you do have the convection oven. This is going to be the large convection oven. A little dirty inside, but you get the idea. And you do check to make sure that the digital readout's working. Uh, you do have a three burner gas cooktop with cover. And these are all solid surface Corian style countertops. Lots of storage. You don't need an oven because you have a convection oven, so you've got more storage space and all your hardware is going to be that brush nickel hardware. Did notice right here, well it shows a little bit of wear right here. Show off those Corian style countertops, solid surface all throughout, even in the bathroom, which I'll show you. Nice, this looks like an upgraded faucet, uh, Moen style sprayer faucet, pull out sprayer, pretty neat. Double bowl, under mount, recessed sink, which is nice. And I do want to point out, you do have a beautiful uh, Corian style backsplash on the back there in your cooking area. Back up here. Also in this slide out, uh, it's going to be the ultra leather sofa. And you do have the uh, height of bed in there. And it definitely can sleep um, two grown adults. Kind of show off that ultra leather there. Little bitty, little scratch right there. To none. You should say the inside, the interior on the inside, 1 through 10, 10 being the best on the interior. Uh, definitely, I think, a 9. 
some of your lights are out and they tried to upgrade the LEDs but some of the LEDs are going out but uh, anyway nice upgrade on on the lights on some of these lights with the LEDs cabinet space and the suit this is a super slide by the way the second slide out oh gosh it's got to be it's it's got to be at least 15 foot long and about two foot deep and also the floor was upgraded beautiful uh, kind of a, a tile look floor and you do have uh, in the entertainment area here uh, I'm going to say it's got to be at least a 60 inch Vizio flat screen. Definitely an upgrade from the factory uh, that was offered in this in 2007. Nice sound bar right here. And it uh, looks like a DVD, uh, all the good stuff. And you have nice recess lighting up there up top. A nice mirror. Kind of make the place a little, look a little bigger. Okay. I do also want to point out new carpet in the bedroom and in the slide out there. So pretty much all new flooring. Uh, the owners just uh, didn't like the original so they upgraded it. Nice beautiful side all hallway. We'll go back into the master bedroom here. All new carpet. Show off that carpet. Beautiful carpet. And there's your third slide out. It's going to be a queen bed. Queen bed lifts up. Storage up underneath it. That is a plush bed mattress. Do you have ceiling fan? And I do check all corners inside on all coaches. Look for water damage. Did not find any issues. Uh, this be uh, lots of storage here. Uh, washer and dryer is going to be in the bathroom which I'll show you. Looks like they've got a DVD player here and sit back here. Show off that. I believe it's probably going to be maybe a 26 inch Samsung. That may have been the original TV. But it is a flat screen. Cedar line closet. Like that. Did notice uh, a little wallpaper peeling back there, but there's no water damage, so I don't know. Just one of those things. Just uh, it's like contact paper. But uh, anyway, I didn't find any issues with water coming in. Uh, there's your uh, subwoofer. This does have full home theater surround sound. And next to the bed here, generator start button, which is really neat. And paint around here. It's going to be your remote there for your button for your fan. And turn that on. Anyway, solid wood pocket door for privacy from the bedroom into the hallway out to the living room. Do you want to point out uh, this coach is equipped with dual pane windows? The furnaces on this coach, dual furnaces. One's going to be, I believe, a 20,000 BTU, and the other one's going to be a 25,000 BTU furnace. More than enough for this coach. And your ACs are going to be dual high efficiency AC units. More than enough for this coach. Uh, fantastic mint fan there. I do want to point out also uh, soft, soft touch vinyl ceiling all throughout the coach. And there's your washer and dryer combo unit. Uh, foot flush porcelain toilet and uh, your flooring in the bathroom looks like it's been upgraded nice glass enclosed shower here so I flip that little latch there open it up this coach is still winterized if I remember right they the coach is, uh, has not been used in over a year so that's one of the reasons uh, definitely why the owners are selling it they just don't want it sitting there so and they have had it recently serviced I believe transmission fluid all that stuff and I'll show off there. There's your solid surface coin style countertops also in the bedroom. A nice uh, medicine cabinet. All right, speed this video up. Coach is sitting on the Freightliner chassis. Uh, air brakes, air ride, uh, and it does have the uh, 330 horsepower, 7.2 liter Caterpillar diesel turbo diesel engine. 860 foot-pounds of torque, more than enough to go out west. And that's your monitor control panel. Show that here after I show off the cockpit. Storage up there, and more storage. And your ultra leather, uh, your flex steel seating is showing a little bit of wear and tear. 
that could be a, a cleaned up but uh, down here on the edge here on the co-pilot seat just show a little bit of wear and tear uh, power uh, power seat power foot rest and that may have been the uh, extra large co-pilot seat that I think was an option and on the co-pilot um, uh, as far as controls area you do have keyless entry and you do have there there's your fan a little fan in there right there uh, the owners did upgrade the wind, uh, windshield uh, shades to more of a residential style for privacy at night and on the sides there which is really nice okay sit in the cockpit here and you do have full telescoping adjusting uh, steering wheel there's your Freightliner badge there and show off mileage is currently is currently let's trip this back here little trip meter here there we go I don't know if you can see 69,770 miles on the coach sorry I leaned on the horn uh, anyway and it's going to be your power sun visor buttons there it's going to be your toggle for toggling the diagnostics that I was just showing you uh, there's your gauges and your light switches uh, radio here six speed Allison 3000 transmission and these are going to be some of the cool buttons this is going to be uh, your tar retard brake which is uh, your exhaust brake uh, fan on the pilot side it's going to be your ICC lights like saying thank you for letting me over like the truckers do it's pretty cool uh, auxiliary start button hold that down it ties the house battery and chassis battery together these are going to be like docking lights and it's going to be like some, some utility light and show off those air brakes okay and it's going to be your monitor panel here monitor panel is going to there's your uh, leveling system right there it's going to be your magnum 2000 watt inverter right there it's going to be your energy management system there uh, onan generator 7.5 uh, diesel generator 7500 onan diesel generator and ooh, let's see here these are your battery cutoffs up top there for house and chassis well, uh, 10 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater and then the water pump and this is going to be where you show your uh, tank levels and uh, that's going to be uh, shows your voltage and all that let's kind of speed this video up because uh, I'm trying to keep it under 15 minutes all right if you want to point out on the outside uh, it does have a crack in the windshield uh, it's still uh, you can still drive with it but uh, it's a crack uh, the owners really never noticed it uh, up top there uh, just right below there there's a crack and uh, anyway and there's a rock chip a little tiny rock chip right here that I can't probably show in the video and the one that caused the crack and there is clear coat coming off the front there cosmetic I do point out everything uh, all uh, as far as the rest of the front looks in great shape the owners did take off that 3M mask so you don't have the, the nasty uh, uh, discoloration from that 3M mask that you usually find on 07's uh, remote heated chrome mirrors which is really nice uh, this does have a side view camera package right here and oh uh, awning for the door full awning package window awning package all the good stuff uh, full body paint DuPont paint one of the best paint jobs you're gonna find uh, there is no oxidation all your decals are in great condition all your baggage doors everything I did not find really any dinks uh, I do want to point out on the back corner here when I walk around the back uh, there is a, a little g a scuff mark that I'll show you uh, there's your exhaust chrome exhaust vent for your washer and dryer uh, also I do want to point out this does have the weather pro awning your awning uh, is going to be a good 18 foot long power awning weather pro which is definitely nice here's the back corner that may be an issue somebody looking for an absolutely clean coach uh, it's uh, just a little scuffed up uh, it didn't cause any uh, ma major damage just just cosmetic so 10,000 pound tow capability on this coach nice skirt down there at the bottom again uh, 7.2 liter 330 horsepower caterpillar diesel there's your uh, rear backup camera beautiful a rear and front uh, fiberglass caps and beautiful taillights on this coach 
These discoveries are sharp. Shot that back side here. Uh, the tires, uh, the outside tires on the rear, they show 2007. Uh, third week of 2007, show that right there, the four digit number in the circle. Third week of 2007, but the owners told me that they replaced the inside tires a year or two years ago. So, uh, and I'm not really sure the age of the front tires, so, but uh, at least two of the tires on the rear are fairly new. And uh, oh, I do want to point out also, some of your windows are a little bit fogged up. Now, if somebody's not looking for this, they probably you wouldn't even notice it. But I look for stuff like this. Some of the windows are fogged up. This one, this one, and uh, on the uh, driver's side, there was one or two that I saw. Uh, but anyway, you know the windows are foggy a little bit. But other than that, I'm real particular when I do my walk arounds. Back up here, kind of show off that full body paint. And all the awnings seem to be in good condition. Really no issues there. And uh, oh, I do want to point out also you have 22 inch uh, aluminum Alcoa wheels. Let's back up here. Let me show off those beautiful wheels. Always got to show off those Alcoas. And uh, this coach has not been detailed, so uh, they can definitely use a polishing, but uh, they should shine up like a new penny. Anyway, uh, I know I didn't get everything, but. Um, it's, it's a good clean coach, uh, other than the fact it's got a few little cosmetic issues. Uh, other than that, uh, if you do want to come and see the coach, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.